you ever meet a true philosopher? He pokes a finger against his ossified head. You found one right here. Spent centuries buried under the dirt. What with all that thinking time, I've found nothing. Oh, but I don't just go around giving knowledge. The skeleton pauses. A soul bond will settle, but I'm sure you'll be just fine. Oh, how fun. Just touch this bone on my... You reach for the rib in quest. All right, mister. Deep thought. First up, our purpose in life. I say it's to accumulate knowledge. Pretty great answer, eh? Can you do better than that? His jaws clack together in a show of self-assurance. A shattering shiver passes through the skeleton's body from toe to head, then back again. The cosmos agrees with you. Could it be, I don't know my own meaning? This emptiness. No matter. Surely you cannot best me again. Tell me, Sammy Smarty Pants, is there such thing as free will? I say no. The gods guide our every move. I dare you to outsmart me now. How could I have been so simple when the truth is so vast? Well, I won't let you outshine me again. The skeleton hangs his head low, then yanks it upwards again. Is there a difference between right and wrong? The truth is that there is not. Only action and consequence. <laughs> Oh-ho! I got you there.
You feel the bond break between your finger and the skeleton. You pull your hand quickly back to your side. I can't bear this, this existential agony. What have you... Please, I'm busy. He recoils in disgust. But then, recognizing her face, he grins. It's a grim day that such gore would bring me pleasure. But Helen Everhart's death was wrong, and this goes some way to writing it. Please, allow me to reward you.
I heard you might be coming through this way. Good on. Say nothing to no one, but I'm happy to. Some of that stuff's not bad, friend. It's a little better now if I say so myself. Good luck to you. My hero, I'm grateful. A sense of urgency from deep within you quickens your heart and hardens your gut. Your god wants you to know that this sorcerer can help you on your mission. She can help you to become more powerful. What news of Gwydion Rince? Have you found him? <sighs> I am relieved to hear it. You have my thanks. Little good. I went to Paradise Downs to teach a young sorcerer, Gwydion. But the Magisters came for us. We fought them off, and our source drew Voidwoken. <sighs> you may blame the Magisters for the horror. Responsible? No. I have... regrets. If the Magisters had not come, it would have not happened. It is not our fault that our talents draw the void. We are not the problem. We are the hope. I was on my way to... where I thought that I might find... a friend, of whom I'll say no more. The Magisters trapped me. And it appears I did find a friend. <laughs> Just not the one I'd expected. My crowning glory! And the millstone around my neck. Yes, I made the bomb. I served Lucian as best I could. I gave him what he asked. Would I do it again? No, I would not. I shall return home to the Empire when the Magisters have cooled their ardor. For now, I'll hide out here. It should be safe enough. She gives you a shy smile. It's charming, and it may be her tell. She may well be lying. I owe you a debt. It must be repaid. She opens her hands. 
and between them opens a tiny portal. A book drops from it. She catches it and hands it to you. I bid you farewell. Of the shade, I'll kill your shining lights. I'll kill your shining lights. Venomous toad, I'd lick his back and say good night. I'd skin him all alive. I'll eat your shining lights. Another world, another life. Thieves and liars, I eat their tongues, I eat their lives, I'll eat your shining lights. Trouble? Trouble? Bubbling skin and burning knuckle, I'll kill your shining lights. Oh baby, oh darling, I'm so sorry. You feel it too, you feel it. Come to me, come, come and let us kill our shining lights.
must take you. A haze of flame and confusion envelops you as the Magister's memories hit. You come for Alice Elysian, the witch, and she flees her home. You capture and crucify her, but she returns to life and burns you all.
You have returned, but not with the specter of death. What would you know before you return to your bloody business? My master has been troubled by the presence of the void as it creeps ever forward, encroaching on areas in which he himself once ruled supreme. None more so than this island. There is a tree at this island's core which has special significance to my master. Think of it as hallowed, sacrosanct ground. But the black ring maggots writhe all about its trunk. And you will exterminate these termites. It is simplicity itself, in truth. Why, the only thing you truly desire, or certainly the only thing you truly need, I will reveal unto you the location of the Council of Seven. Excellent. How fortuitous that we could become an accord. Doubtless it will be beneficial to all parties concerned. A most excellent decision. Alas, I fear in my excitement I overspoke and potentially promised more than my meager means are able to provide. Your ability to channel Source has sadly already passed the limits of my means. Although let it not be said that I ever shirked my duty. If I cannot gift you one boon, I shall gift you another. It would be such a shame to see this source be simply left languishing in its current vessel, after all. There is neither enigmatic lore nor magical jewel required to open the channels of source. It is enough to seize it with sufficient force of will, to know that all creatures are nothing but source and vain hope. You feel the pull of a far-off connection. You feel the dungeon, the red organic tendrils binding you. Your ears are filled with screams, and you're surprised to find they are your own. Granting the power that you need, Godwoken. The gift that I have proffered is free, but it is not without a cost. All things exist in balance, so your gain must mean a loss to another. Do not fear for his soul. It is unworthy. It is already damned. No power in this world can save it. This is an act of kindness. A foul creature locked away for his crimes. Who is he? What has he done? These are not relevant. All that matters is that you are presented with an opportunity. Now, do you accept this felicity or reject my master's grace? Very well. I suspect I shall still be here when you change your mind. And you will change your mind, Godwoken. You have returned, but not with the specter of death. What would you know before you return to your bloody business? My master's identity is of no practical consequence in this matter. You need concern yourself with nothing barring the truth that my master always honors his vows. Your smoldering half-demon pet can attest to that.
on these stairs. Whatever words you carry with you, they are watty with futility. I know you for what you are, a mere mouthpiece of deception. It is of no use. The advocate knows the tree belongs to the ring. Oh, I can measure the vile depths of your prevarications by the very pulse of this bleeding forest. You lie. You lie. You lie. Steady as the heart, you lie. Ally. 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 You may be right, and blood does not lie. Very well. You're not one of the Advocate's men, but my warning still stands. Stand back. Not a foot on these stairs. Through fog we ride, through blood we wade in search of a name. A demon plots, but with his name we will bind him. This sore of bloody branches knows, but will not speak just yet. No matter. There is no remedy against patience and torture. He is the serpent that speaks with a thousand tongues, except his own. He is the death of the soul, with a smile and a flourish. Heed my second warning. Shun the advocate, whose very sentence is a sentence. Your name will have your back will break. Yeah, 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 you will speak, or we will burn you, leaf by leaf, vein by vein. Bow to the ring. Your name will have... Your back will break. We will flay. We will break your branches and ravage your roots. Your name will have. Your back will break. Your name will have. Your back will break. We will flay your every last strip of bark until you bow to the ring. Your name will have. Your back will. Your name will your back will break. Your name will have your back will break. We will flay your every last strip. Your back until we bow to the ring.
the Reaper for me. Prepare yourself. You were rather more astute than my initial verdict. A stirring display of violence. As per our terms. The location... The lizard leans in close, his rancid breath clogging your throat. As you look into the darkness of his eyes, you see an island. You see the winds that will carry you there. You see the way. Now, Godwoken. We both have what we sought, and thus all guarantees of safety are expired. You need not fear me, but this island hides more dangers than my claws. I recommend you go, but should I find you broken on the beach, I will shed no tears.
It is something of a relic. A relic that has had its spirit defiled by the Black Ring. Now, I have work to do. This place must be cleansed, it must be healed. And you must surely know that your welcome is wearing thin.
Rotomiso. <laughs>